What's going on? This is Marcos. Today we'll be taking a look at the PD Movie Live Air 2. Right here, this is the motor and controller. This is a wireless follow focus system that does not require any wires whatsoever. And before we get started, just a disclaimer, this product was sent to me for review. All right, so how I would primarily use this product is when I want to pull focus by myself and I'm on a gimbal such as this one. Or let's say you're running a jib arm. In these cases, it is almost impossible to control the focus gear while you're operating. Luckily, uh, with a product like this, you can control the focus gear remotely. This is especially useful if you're pulling focus all by yourself. Again, you have no assistance. We don't always have the luxury of having a focus puller. So this makes it super easy to mount it to a handle. As you can see here, again, I mount it right to the handle where my hand is going to be. That way I can support the gimbal and focus pull with my thumb. This allows me to run a shallow depth of field and get more creative shots without needing assistance. I don't know about you, but on my indie productions, I'm having to operate and pull focus at the same time. Now let's talk about some of the technical stuff and how this actually works. In front here, you have the motor that connects to the lens via this rod that's included. If your lens is not a cinema lens, you will have to add a lens attachment such as this one that gives you the proper gears. Most of us are probably using stills lenses, so this is a must have. I would check out uh, followfocusgears.com, not sponsored, if you want to buy specific gears for your stills lenses. If you have cinema lenses, then you don't have to worry. They just attach it to the motor and that's it. Then we have the controller. See that? This controls the motor. Both the motor and the controller pair seamlessly when you turn them on. They use lithium ion batteries, which last about six hours. What's nice about the motor is that you don't need to run power to it via a cable, which is very annoying in other wireless follow focus systems. Once you install the batteries on both devices, uh, you press down the power on the controller and then it automatically connects to the motor. The motor turns on as soon as you put the battery in. Also, you have to remove the battery from the motor because it does not have an off button. Then, since I'm assuming most of us are going to be using still lenses, you have to manually calibrate the motor. Let me show you how that works. So this is still lens. I put on a focus gear here. You, well, actually I already calibrated, but you turn the lens all the way to the left until it, it has like a semi hard stop and that's when you stop. You wait about 0.5 seconds and you go the other way to your right counterclockwise until you hear the a little hard stop and you stop there, wait for 0.5 seconds, and then you turn it just ever so slightly and then that's calibrated already for you. Uh, the, the problem with steel lenses, they don't have hard stops. They just keep going and going and the motor can't detect that. For cinema lenses, you can run auto calibrate because those have hard stops. So the motor can detect the in and out points. Once calibrated, you just turn the wheel on the controller. See there? and you're ready to go. With the turn of the wheel, you have full control of the focus gear on your lens or whatever lens you're using. Moving on to what you will get in the box, you will find a half cage that you can attach to mirrorless cameras. Actually, it might also fit this uh, Z cam, but I would say primarily for mirrorless cameras, small camera bodies. There's also a cold shoe mount, so there's plenty of ways to connect the rod to your camera very easy to install. Now let's talk about some of the minor quirks about the Live Air 2 because no product is perfect. I don't like that I have to remove the battery from the motor to turn it off. Also, it is kind of hard to pull off that battery. Uh, secondly, I wish the controller was easier to mount to my gimbal and my camera rigs. Um, the clamp extends up to one and a quarter inch, which is fine, but I wish it extended a little bit more. Also, maybe a, a different type of mount would be good for different rigs. Lastly, I wish I would have manual marks on the wheels on the, of the controller so I could pull focus the old fashioned way. I know you can also set A and B focus points on the actual motor, but I prefer to use visual cues. Other than that, it works beautifully. The build quality is robust and it feels nice and durable. I love that I don't have to run any wires to it and the battery lasts for many, many hours. There'll be links in the description if you want to check out the Live Air 2. If you have any questions or you have a comment, please drop it down below. 
that does it for today's video. I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.